Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm always grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do your Capricorn Weekly Love Prediction reading for October 21st to October 27th. Please keep in mind this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, kind, funny, loving, stubborn Capricorn. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my caps? What's going on with my Capricorns? Show me, spirit guys. Let's see, caps, what you got going on. The strength card. Chariot. The Fool. The Justice card. And the Five of Swords. Hmm. Well, Capricorn. First of all, the strength card is leading your reading. The strength card can represent uh, something. Actually, actually, it can represent a Leo sun sign. But the strength card is about trying to get someone to um, settle down. That's all I can say is settle down. But let me say this to you. There is someone that you were with. And I do believe they want a new beginning with you. But you're not about to have it. You're not about to deal with them until they show you that they can handle you. Because they were out there. I'm going to say that. You tried to give them, you gave them a chance. It's like I hear you saying, I gave you a chance. But they didn't, you know, they didn't want to come correct. They didn't, hey, they wanted to keep doing what they were doing. Wanted to keep kicking and dipping and dodging and, you know, sneaking and creeping. And you know what? Mm -mm. No, and the only thing, the reason, what I see here is you're saying right here, this strength card. Until you show me, this is the only way that the chariot card move, I'm going to move forward with you. The only way that I'm going to ever, ever move forward with you is that you show me that you have changed. You got to show me that you've changed because, see, I gave you a chance before. We tried this thing before, and I see this with this card, these two cards here, whoever I'm reading for, listen to me. You know, some people say, oh, you're reading for yourself. I have not reading for myself. I am a Capricorn, but trust me, I'm not reading for myself. I'm reading from what the cards are telling me about someone's situation or some situations that are going on out here. You are saying, you are saying, I'm not giving you another chance because the full card's in the middle of the, of the reading, which is a new beginning. A risk, ready to take a risk. I'm not risking it on you again because we've tried this thing before. Until you show me, I'm not risking it again. I'm not going to do it. I'm not risking it again until you show me that you're ready to stop sneaking and creeping, dipping and dodging with that strength card until you tell me you got you, you, you have the strength to want to be with me. So I understand. I respect you. I let you do what you do. That's what I hear you saying. But it won't be with me and, it, and you won't be able to do this with me. It doesn't work like that. If, unless you come correct, unless you get a can of act right and come correct, that's the only way we're going to be together. I do see the Justice card this year, and that Justice card can represent a Libra sun sign. The Justice card is also about karma. It's about karma. What you're saying is, not, uh uh. See, and this person is really getting it right now because this person wants to be back with you big time. I'm going to say this person, the Justice card can also represent a Libra sun sign, but the Justice card is, can, can, um, also, there's so many things that I see here because it can be legalities. He may want to marry you now, but I don't see you giving him a chance. I really don't. I don't see you giving him a chance. I see another chance. And the reason why is because I don't think you believe him when he says he's changed. Or you believe him when you say that he says he's ready now. That's what I don't think. I don't think it's so much. It says, I don't think you believe him. You don't believe him. Because here's this Five of Swords here, and that Five of Swords is conflict. It's conflict. Five of Swords is mental. 
That source energy is mental energy. There's conflict going on because you don't believe him when he says, I'm ready now. I don't believe you. That's just what you're saying. I don't believe you. I just don't believe you're ready. I don't believe you're ready to handle this situation or to handle me. And that's okay. But you're not going to be with me until I, I believe you. So give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify the reading. I want to clarify the reading to see what additional information the spirit guys have you have to say. Sit back, relax, and let's just see what the spirit guys have to say. Why is this strength card here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the strength card here for my Capricorns? Show me. Oh, there's that strength card again. I Whenever you get this, if you're listening, you're a Capricorn, and this is your story, I'm telling you exactly what the spirit guides are telling. I'm right on track. Because the spirit guides, when they give you the same card, they're just reiterating that you, they need me to make sure that I, re, that I tell this, that I tell this story that they want someone to know. Whoever this Capricorn is, yours, you have strength. You have inner strength, one thing. But until this person gets comes correct, until this person shows you, hey, they can't get upset with you if you don't want to be with them. Don't get upset. And that's what I see. That strength card. Can't be a Leo sun sign, like I said. But when I see that strength card, it's, again, they have not come in. If they have not, they're still deep, uh, was, uh, sneaking and creeping and dipping and dodging. Uh-uh. Till you come correct. That's the only time that we're going to ever get back together. So let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Show me why the chariot card is here. Uh-oh, there's my girl. That's that high priestess. Yep, that's what they was doing. You know, when I see that old high priestess, that high priestess is those other women, those secret love affairs. Yeah, those secret love affairs. And it's over the chariot cart. Huh, and that means you're stepping forward. You're stepping forward without them. But those are those secret love affairs. Yeah, see, somebody got caught up. They thought they weren't going to get They got caught up. Don't get upset with you, and I'll say it again, because you said I'm not going to deal with you until... You prove to me that you've changed. And then I may get with you. I'm just saying. Hey, don't get upset with me. But it's over the chariot card. Yeah, because see, you're not going to deal with him anymore until you find out that he doesn't have these secret love affairs. And there's not other women. Because it definitely was before. You're just not going to deal with him. You need to prove to that person. He needs to prove to you. So let's see why the fool card is here. Why is the fool card in the middle of the reading? Show me. That fool card. Let's see why the fool card's in the middle of the reading. Show me spirit, guys. King of Wands. Yep, yep. I told you. He, see, King of Wands can be my husband card. He, I think he wants to marry you. Mm -hmm. He wants to marry you. But see, here's the deal. He effed up. Excuse me. Oops. YouTube, please. I don't want to get a... Uh, no. He messed up. He messed up. He messed up this situation. He messed up the situation in the, in the, um, before... And you're not, you're not looking at him like that anymore right now. He has so much to do to prove to you. He has so much to do to prove to you. The king of wands, yeah, he, yeah, he wants to, now he wants to come in. I want a new beginning, you see, because it's over the fool card. I want to marry you. Now, king of wands is my marriage card. That's my husband card. Yeah, I want a new beginning because now I want to marry you. But let's see why this justice card is here. Because right now, this karma is kicking his butt. This justice card means balance, legalities, it could be a whole bunch. Of, it represents a Libra sun sign. But yeah, he wants to marry now. Yeah, now, now you. Oh, okay. Oh, now you want to act right when it's, you feel like I'm supposed to act right because you want. I'm supposed to be with you now, right? You've not proven to me. So let's see why the Justice card is here. Six of Pentacles. That's kindness, generosity, love, balance, balance, a give and take in a relationship. Yeah, somebody that's not running women, someone's not chasing women. That's not what you want. And you definitely, if it starts out like that, you know that to marry them, you can only imagine. If you cheat once, you'll cheat again. That's what you say. If you cheat once, you'll cheat again. So let's see why the Five of Swords is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Five of Swords here for my Capricorns? Show me. Five of Cups. Yeah. You missing? There's heartache here. When well, not you missing? Um, there's depression here. When I say depression, not that you're not going to come out of this because you definitely are. But those three cups are down. Those that's the other women. That's the lion. That's the you know all of that. That's it. You know, but it's like if you cheat once, you'll cheat again because that's why you got conflict going on here. You miss this man. Yeah, of course you loved him, but you know what? Guess what? You're not willing to put up with the mess. You're not willing to put up with the mess. 
And especially not with the marriage. He'd have to prove to you. He'd have to prove to you. Let's start at the very beginning. The strength card. The strength card can represent a Leo sign. And it's a strength card twice here. Whomever I'm reading for. Someone was dipping and dodging, sneaking and creeping. They didn't want to come in. They wanted to keep doing what they were doing. Absolutely. They wanted to keep cheating. They wanted other women. Here's that high priestess card, those secret love affairs. They were still doing what they were doing. Oh, now he wants to act correct. He wants to, he wants, you know, things to come around. He wants to act correct now because, you know, the chariot card is here. He wants to move forward with you with the new beginning, with this fool card next to this chariot card. But did he forget about the other women that he had? Uh-huh. Did he forget about that? You know, if a man cheats once, he'll cheat again, right? And see, now he wants a new beginning, this fool card. So he, wants, he wants you to risk it all to marry him. He wants you to risk it all to marry him. There's that justice card, though. There's that justice card, which is about balance. And here's over the six of pentacles, which is a balance card, too. It's about a give and take. That's a kindness, a generous card. A, a, people understanding each other. People loving on each other. Giving it back and forth. Not someone that was lying. Someone that you found out about that was a cheater. If you cheat once, you'll cheat again. Why would I marry you? That's what I hear you say. Why would I marry you? Why would I, be, why would I marry you? And let me tell you, you missed this man. That five, there's two fives there. That five of swords, your heart... You miss him. You absolutely do. There's conflict because you really would like to go back to him. You think about the good times. You think about all that stuff. All of the things that you had with him and he risked it all. And was still dipping and dodging, sneaking and creeping. Yeah. If you cheat once, you'll cheat again. There's that five of cups. There is depression here. And I do see that Capricorn. I'm very sorry. But there is some depression. But I do believe you'll come out of it. And it's just depression because do you have to release the energy. You've got to release this energy to move on. you got to release the energy because you know you know in your head space, because the source's energy is here. In your head space, you know if he cheated once, he'll cheat again. And there's that five of cups. But I do believe that you'll come out of this. Well, let's see what my oracles have to say about this relationship. What do my, oh, first card out. There's something better. There's something better. There's something better. It says communicate clearly. Let him know. Let him know. Absolutely not. I, I don't see this. If you cheat once, you'll cheat again. Listen to your intuition. My favorite card's coming out. Meditation brings answers. Prayer works. Whatever you meditate to, the higher being, your higher being, talk to them. Let's see. What else do my cards say? Well, it says unlikely, unlikely, unlikely. Mm-mm. I'm just going to pull the cards as they come out. Let go of him. Let go of him. If he cheats one, he'll cheat again. If he cheats one time, he'll cheat again. Absolutely. That's what the cards are saying. Let's see what it says. Oh, oh, they say a year from now. And that means to me, when I see that card a year from now, there's someone in your love space. You're going to be happy with someone. Big, big happy changes are coming. That's what I have for you, Capricorn, for your love prediction reading. 